Two and a two female, one of them just have one face. So this a over. In the enough, I think. They don't have much, I just two minutes. See. You don't like it? I mean it now. You know it's that big? Cry, do I like one picture frame thing? I'm putting yourself over. Yeah, but it's in the anime video. I really want that. Okay. It could work. I need that close to the paint colour. So we're going to go home now, it's now 8.46 a.m. Guys, you see the skin? Mm, glowing. No flitter. No flitter is needed, okay? Natural. No bleaching cream, no toning, no nothing. The ordinary, all the way. Just the beginning. You don't get no better. I'm long and go home and I'll be good forever. And I love the way you look. It lasts me forever. I'm ready for what I want you now more than ever. You make me wanna put the phone down. We're alone. I wanna zone out. With you, I ain't got no doubt Hey guys, so it's Granny Sunday I am about to head to church I am so late, it's after 12 I wanted to leave out a while now But I decided to clean today So I wasn't done in time. I'm about to finish my skincare and then I'm gonna be headed out. I haven't been to church in so long because I am always not here. And then when I am here, I always procrastinate and just don't go. It's on my vision board to go to church every Sunday or while I can while I'm here. Okay guys, I feel like I am now ready. I'm about to leave go just now. It's almost 1 p.m. But better leave than So just got back from church. I arrived a bit late. So I went when preaching was being held. I'm not the type to vlog while in church or to get my phone to video or anything like that. So I didn't take any from a video. And there wasn't much to video because the preacher was preaching and stuff. So the scripture that they read today was Romans 5 verses 1. That's one off. 
and it's therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ verse 2 by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God I feel like what was preached today like God was literally speaking through the preacher to me so basically what she was stating is that there are a lot of times we want to come to Jesus perfect and you would want to fix everything you want to finish your education you want to get married and you know you want to look fit in the sight of God but we should be coming to God as we are and let him fix everything for us who knows what's gonna be happening when you take on everything by yourself what if you're not supposed to marry that person that you're with what if you're not supposed to study a certain course or you know anything can happen but with God everything is possible the moment you give your life to the Lord then he'll make everything possible you might think that you're running short on certain things or persons are actually achieving stuff that you are nowhere near to achieve but once you're with God he's never too late he's always on time whatever it is that you want from God go to him as you are don't try to be a perfect person he already knows your heart and what's in your mind so and to me I feel like I want everything to be perfect like I want to have the home the husband the kids the financial stability everything and then I can focus on God but that's not how it works like you have to come to God as you are and I'm trying to accept and learn that if God is not in the midst of things then it just won't make any form of sense because God needs to be in the midst of everything that you're doing sometimes we tend to do things on our own thinking that it is the right way when the will of God is not on the purpose of whatever you're doing so we have to learn to understand that there is a reason and a season for everything and without God we're literally nothing that is something I need to focus on and guys I'm not a perfect person and I want to strengthen my walk with Christ I grew up in the church I literally grew up in the church and I have drifted started doing things on my own and all that I realized time and time again like I am nothing without God like literally nothing I just want to have a stronger relationship with him because everything that I do I want to, I want God to be a part of it not just doing things to my own liking I want the will of God to be on my life I'm gonna be putting him at the center of my life like with everything like I want to hear him talk to me if I'm not living a life that's pleasing unto him that won't work so I'm going back to the drawing board and I'm gonna try to build a stronger relationship with the Lord because nothing in this life is permanent that's where we're currently at so i didn't say i'm perfect i don't intend to live a perfect life but god sees my heart he knows my intention and he knows what i want so we're gonna start from where we're at this channel doesn't have any form of community or any concrete foundation on what exactly i want it to be but i've been praying and i know that if I wasn't supposed to be talking about God, then he wouldn't give me a monetized channel. So I want to acknowledge him with everything that I do. And obviously my channel will reflect the glory of God because he deserves all the glory and all the praise. That's what we're about to do, baby. So as Miss Emma just reached home, I already started prepping for dinner. So I'm... I'm gonna change and start cooking. That's about it for the rest of the day today. Watching me some Maya Geller as well. Love her channel, love her content. So while I'm finishing up my vlog, I just realized that she posted a video today. So I am actually tuned into that. So I'm gonna hurry up and try to finish the editing section out of video. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking. I'm almost done cooking by the way. <laughs> 
Hey guys, so I know I look a mess. My parents are actually coming down. As in I can see, I'm gonna finish doing my need to do. I was in the kitchen cooking and today I decided to clean. So I'm done cleaning. I just need to spread my bed and stuff. They're literally like 20 minutes or maybe less. My auntie is supposed to meet them just now while they're on their way. I know that once the phone ring, that simply means that they're ready to leave where she's at to come by me. So I need to hurry up. I wanted to do some from unboxing, but that not gonna work. Literally so sweaty from rushing and I am so nervous. My dad was like, make sure you're cooking up because me I come hungry. <laughs> I had to season all the meat and stuff. I've been cooking. I wanted to vlog that part. But honestly, I didn't get the chance to like actually vlog. That would have taken up too much time. So I had the front. Hey guys, so it's literally the next day. I didn't get to vlog yesterday. I was super tired because I had so much to do. Yesterday was my cleaning day. So my parents were here in the evening. We cooked, well, I cooked. By the time they got here, the only thing that was left to do was just to do the vegetable. My mom did that. <laughs> I wanted to do everything before they came, but it was too much for me. I didn't take up the camera at all. Because I wanted to have like a little get together. We watched a nice little movie and we ate and talked for a while. And I cherished that moment a lot. The fact that they were actually in my space. They haven't eaten from me. Ever? Maybe this was like their second time eating from me. And your girl put it down, okay? <laughs> my dad loved it. <laughs> so, um... I am just here now trying to pack up everything. Um, I did a little cleaning as I've mentioned. So I changed my sheets and stuff like the stuff that I wanted for Christmas. I am just organizing those. And I don't know, like I'm getting so old. We can actually feel it because now I am into the whole home decor. I'm all about getting home stuff, homey stuff. And I got a new computer as y'all saw earlier and I love, love, love it. So it was purchased from Amazon. I'm going to be leaving the link in my description. So if y'all are interested, you can actually purchase those. Majority of the stuff that were shown are actually from Amazon, Sheen and Walmart. So those stuff were last minute so I had to like kind of source it all over the place just in time for the bar so that they could have been added in it. So that's that for the homey stuff. I still have a little bit more organizing to do in terms of in the living area and the restroom. Like everything is just all over the place. It's not organized. Like stuff that I've taken from the barrel, they're just thrown down. I still have stuff like right in front of me right now and my space is really small i don't have much space so i am so ocd so i don't like to see stuff in my sight all the time i just like to see minimal stuff and if they're there they have to be like neat or organized so in my mind it's not settled so i need to organize all of that i'm going to be doing that throughout the rest of the week so today it's now after 12 p.m. I've already showered and stuff. I have to finish filming a video that needs to go out today at 7. So I need to edit that and add another clip. So I need to do some vloggy part of it. Like the worst part for me is to get up and talk to the camera. I hate that part. So I should have done that two days ago and I haven't. The video is due today. That's my time frame that I want to post it. It was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but it that could work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I woke up with a very grateful heart. Being able to do certain things that I've always envisioned for myself. I am very appreciative and grateful to God. I am listening to some gospel songs. I haven't done any from a devotion as yet. And I am gonna be doing that before I even have breakfast. Me tell no after 12 no breakfast as it all i had was a ripe banana and that was it so my parents took food for me from the country 
and it's a lot like when I saw the actual food I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> that's a lot so whenever they send food I always try to give persons so I'm gonna be giving Chrissy some of it she's the only person I really know here so I'm gonna be giving her some because it's a lot and I know me cooking like I cook a lot while I'm in Jamaica but not that much <laughs> But I am going to be going on my health journey. I want to lose 10 pounds. I'm not sure if I'm going to be starting the gym as yet. Because I have so much stuff to sort out before. And my main aim is to be consistent. So if I can be consistent at home on my own. That would be a plus for me. Because when I'm at the gym. I know that I'm paying for a membership. I'm paying a trainer. So I'm not going to want my money to go down the drain. So I definitely. I am being forced to be consistent so if i can do it on my own i would love that for myself because in fact i really want to be consistent so i can work out and have like a healthy life or lifestyle i've gained a few pounds and i really don't feel confident about myself i don't feel confident in my skin so i need to start working out that's a part of my goal for 2024 not just for january but entirely to include exercise and workouts in my actual routine daily so for this week i'm going to focus on that i'm going to see a bit i can do that i got a few like ground provision that i'm going to incorporate in my diet like i normally get it but since i have so much i'm going to be using these instead of like rice and all of those starchy stuff so when i tell you my parents don't play about me they don't play about me so we have some ground provisions over there and a bunch of pak choy and cabbage these were green yesterday but the fact that the place is so hot these are already ripened look at this <laughs> look at that at the market one finger would be like 200 or 250 dollars and currently this is like what around 12 I just realized that I didn't close out the vlog. This is my actual outro. So currently, I don't have much to show y'all. I'm just watching a few YouTubers. I have been finding a few Jamaican YouTubers that I have been enjoying. Watching currently, I'm watching Trish Too Real. I'm not sure if y'all know about her, but I love her content. She is real. She's all about like the Jamaican lifestyle and all of that good stuff. And I love to watch like small upcoming creators, like those bougie ass creators that's in the US or like overseas that are just you know like they portray a lifestyle that is not for me. I'm not gonna sit down and watch them. I like to watch the real unfiltered version of YouTubers, especially the ones that are in Jamaica. I like some African ones as well, but sometimes i can't relate to them i love to watch people that i can relate to so this is basically the end of the vlog i didn't get to do much much just what you guys had seen in the video basically i'm just here at home it's always delivery me showering getting ready to go on the road all the time or just showering to get ready to finish my book but apart from that it's just me editing cooking there's no little fun but for February, I have a lot in store, so ensure that you guys stay tuned for that. So if you had reached this far, I hope you had actually enjoyed watching the video. Leave me a like, subscribe, ensure that you are subscribed. This will help to boost my channel. It will also help YouTube to push my videos out to different to viewers that will be interested in contents like what you're now watching. So ensure that you subscribe, like, and comment. This is the end of the video. So until next time, see y'all in my next videos. Bye lovelies.